Okay, I uh, discovered I am able to um, repair raw files as well that are affected by the stop ransomware. So the same thing as with the JPEGs, the first 150 kilobytes are uh, encrypted. So the trick is to glue a header on top of the corrupt uh, raw file and then uh, cut out the encrypted part so that it is uh, directly attached so to speak to the jpeg data and then uh, basically it's the same trick the only thing that's different of course is that we uh, need to first need to extract a jpeg sample from an intact raw file and the other thing is that I discovered, I ran into something. Uh, if I append headers to raw JPEG data because of, for example, uh, corrupt data in between, one of the things that JPEG repair does, and what a normal JPEG decoder, decoder does as well, is interpret FFD9 as the end of file. Now, I've encountered many times that inside the corrupt data is a ffd9 byte pair so then the jpeg repair stops repairing and interpreting the file at this point in the middle of the corrupt data so the default is that jpeg repair uh, ignores the ffd9 marker this is a problem this is not a problem with a jpeg which is a couple of megabytes but these raw files are huge uh, 25 megabytes or uh, I, I even have a, a couple of, uh, that are way uh, larger uh, 80 megabytes from Leica's and um, because uh, JPEG repair will continue parsing the file till it reaches the end of the file uh, normally it has to do a couple of megabytes now and all of a sudden it has to do 80 megabytes it can do it but it takes a long time so I added a feature to address that as well so first we need to extract a sample that we're going to use then I go to my collection of uh, raw files and we will just pick one we will say repair okay now the thing is I'm considering the um, why why uh, the, uh, the the first line of uh, MCUs is also in, in uh, included in the um, uh, stuff that gets glued on the corrupt file and this is because of the way JPEG decodes basically you need to start you need to start uh, value so to speak for uh, chroma and uh, what's the blue stuff uh, called maybe so we have the choice Maybe I'll go with this one. So this is 11. So I'm going to use that as a sample. Okay, now we're going to glue this, the header of this file onto the corrupt raw file. Corrupt raw files are uh, here. Where are the CR2, the CAN files? Here. It's true, I, I, I glued on uh, corrupt data from uh, encrypted data from uh, from uh, infected files, F uh, uh, yeah, partially encrypted files, the first 150, uh, I'm not going to wait for this. Um, let's do it. Uh, patch. We're going to uh, the folder where I uh, have the corrupt files. 
uh, a corrupt file. We want to append a header of a uh, intact JPEG. It asks us where is it. We have it here somewhere. Which one did we do? This one. We're going to click repair. Now this normally takes uh, a couple of seconds and now it has uh, or a couple of seconds. But anyway it has to go to 10 times the amount of data it normally has to go through. So this looks very much like uh, repair of JPEG. Uh, now the first thing I want to do, I'm going to keep the size for now. So it's 24 megabytes. It's only uh, this is only worth a couple of megabytes of data, but I'm going to keep it anyway because the decoder very quickly ran into a problem so it didn't decode the entire file so i'm going to go back to the first byte within the data area and then i'm going to sell uh, give myself some room to play with okay we know we can remove about 150 bytes i'm gonna try with 140 kilobytes okay and now i'm going to reload this don't think it oh yeah this is about right it's about uh, 2 MB worth of data I'm gonna this is the button I talked about new feature it now truncates the file uh, up to the point where the decoder could actually decode And then you see it goes a lot faster. I'm going to do the same. Uh, trick again. And oh no, I'm going to do it manually. With the, with the cursor keys, I mean. With the up down arrows. And we know we again have to remove about uh, 10 kilobytes of data at least. And we keep going until we have a uh, this as well the, the uh, full resolution uh, JPEG will be smaller because it's missing data a good part of it is still uh, overwritten by the uh, uh, encryption Oh, I think this is nice enough.
Oh, why does it do it? Just see what we can do with it in the editor. I'm going to auto level. Okay, nice enough. It's not perfect. You can do more with it, but. It shows you how you can uh, get the full resolution JPEG out of a corrupt, uh, in this case, a Canon RAW file. Let's see if I can. Tinkering. Okay. This is better. It is true that the better you get this, the better it will, uh, <coughs> the easier it will be to. Uh, make it really rep uh, make it look more acceptable and that basically depends a little bit on the reference value This is better. So, okay. And then you save this and then you uh, make somebody happy because he has his uh, file back. Uh, where, uh, oh yeah. I'm going to save it as a JPEG. So this is how you could save a uh, full res JPEG from a uh, raw file affected by uh, stop ransomware. I hope it helps uh, some.